Hi and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. The question says find the intervals in which the function f given by fx equals to x cube plus 1 by x cube where x is not equal to 0 is increasing. Second part is decreasing. Now begin with the solution. We are given that fx is equal to x cube plus 1 by x cube where x is not equal to 0. We have to find the intervals in which this function is increasing and decreasing. For this we have to first find f dash x. So let us first differentiate both sides of this with respect to x. On differentiating we get f dash x has 3x square minus 3x square divided by x to the power 6. This is equal to 3x square minus 3 by x to the power 4. Now fx increases. If f dash x is greater than 0, that is 3x square minus 3 by x to the power 4 is greater than 0. This implies 3 into x square minus 1 by x to the power 4 is greater than 0. This implies x to the power 6 minus 1 is greater than 0. This implies x cube minus 1 into x cube plus 1 is greater than 0. We know that if product of a and b is greater than 0, that this implies that a is greater than 0 and b is also greater than 0 or a is less than 0 and B is less than 0. So, x cube minus 1 into x cube plus 1 greater than 0 implies x cube minus 1 is greater than 0 and x cube plus 1 is also greater than 0 or x cube minus 1 is less than 0 and x cube plus 1 is also less than 0. Now this implies x is greater than 1 and x is greater than minus 1 or x is less than 1 and x is less than minus 1. Now x greater than 1 and x greater than minus 1 implies that x is greater than 1 and x less than 1 and x less than minus 1 implies x is less than minus 1. So function f increases when x is greater than 1 and x is less than minus 1. Now we will find the interval in which function f decreases. Now fx decreases If f dash x is less than 0, that is, three into x square minus one by x to the power four is less than 0. This implies x to the power six minus one is less than 0. This implies x cube minus one 
into x cube plus 1 is less than 0. And this implies x cube minus 1 is less than 0 and x cube plus 1 is greater than 0 or x cube minus 1 is greater than 0 and x cube plus 1 is less than 0. Now if x cube minus 1 is less than 0 and x cube plus 1 is greater than 0 then x cube is less than 1 and x cube is greater than minus 1. This implies x is less than 1 and x is greater than minus 1 and this implies x lies between minus 1 and 1. Now if x cube minus 1 is greater than 0 and x cube plus 1 is less than 0 then x cube is greater than 1 and x cube is less than minus 1. This implies x is greater than 1 and x is less than minus 1. Now this cannot be possible because we cannot find value of x which is greater than 1 and also which is less than minus 1. So we can say that intersection of x greater than 1 and x less than minus 1 is 5. So function f decreases when minus 1 is less than x is less than 1. So we can say that given function f is increasing when x is less than minus 1 and x is greater than 1 and it is decreasing when x lies between minus 1 and 1. This is our required answer. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.